Good morning, children. This is Kristen with Weathering Reader, and we are getting kinky in here today with You Know You Want This by Kristen Rupenjain. Uh, so, You Know You Want This is a short story collection by a fellow Kristen. Not the reason I picked it up. I really liked the cover, and I saw it was a short story collection, and like, I loved the last short story collection I read, so I'm definitely craving another one. Uh, this one was interesting which is a varied collection of short stories, mostly going on a person's weird and deepest desires. Um, most of it is sexual, yes. So this is not one for the kids, just so you guys know. Um, uh, this one was hard to rate. I mean, there were definitely stories that I liked more than others. Some I thought were weaker than others. So I had to give it a four out of five stars because my general impression was I really liked it. Um, so that's kind of going against my normal five star rating where I assign a star to each thing. It's hard to do with short stories. It really is. So I'm just kind of going to go out of my way and just talk about it straight up. This writer got popular by writing the short story Cat Person um, online, which is to kind of deconstruct and point out the nice guy. A guy thinks he's nice, so he thinks he's entitled to something. And whenever he doesn't get that, he turns very not nice. Um, so it kind of goes by that trope. That one I actually thought was the weaker of the stories. And by weaker, I mean it still had good characters, it had good everything, but it seemed kind of tame compared to everything else, which goes mostly into those desires. It didn't seem to very much fit. Like I said, most of them are sexual, so there are ones dealing with taboo, dealing with self-love, dealing with control, dealing with biting. My favorite story in this is the last one called The Biter, where this woman just has an uncontrollable urge to bite. So whenever she was in preschool, she just bit people all the time, but had to stop doing that because, you know, social rules. And she is grown up in an office setting trying not to bite people. It is the most hysterical piece of writing. And it ends very well, like she actually ends up getting what she wants and is able to get what she wants in a way you would not expect. There was a lot of justice to this that was played out very comedically. It was so good. Another one dealt with mean wishes in Sardines, uh, where a girl um, is having a birthday party uh, where it is filled with people that the girl and the mother of the girl do not like and she wishes for something mean. And that one is very disturbing in a way I was not at all expecting. Another one that stood out was actually a fairy tale thrown in there called The Mirror, The Bucket, and The Old Thigh Bone, which is about a person who is trying to be good, finding out that what they really want in life is not very good at all, and her and the people around her trying to deal with that. There is one that is uh, an incredibly Junji Ito-esque one called The Matchbox Sign, which actually got very disturbing, and it is about a girl who thinks that she has parasites in her, and all of the doctors say that there is nothing at all. So that one is very interesting, especially bringing up the uh, mental instability as well as the people around you and how they have to deal with that. Some of the weaker ones, or the what I could technically say are the worst ones in here aren't bad, they're just kind of forgettable. The good guy, the longest story in there, I think was definitely the most forgettable. It just goes through a guy and his experiences with romance through high school, which is okay, but like not great. Every single character in that story was unlikable, um, but it still had a good point towards the end. Um, honestly, it's kind of weird. The best stories in here all deal with fetishes. Um, yeah, but honestly, this one was really good. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's got a little bit of everything, a little bit of weird, a little bit of sexy, a little bit of disturbing. Okay, a lot of bit of disturbing and um, a whole lot of really cool characters, I think. And um, it mainly talks about the things that people don't want to talk about. And I really like things that do that. So it's an uncomfortable read, but one that's well worth it. Definitely recommend children. If you have any short story collection recommendations for me, please comment below. I've actually really been loving them so far, all the ones I've read. Um, I actually have a couple I'm planning on reading this month. I hope you all have a great day. You know you want this.